Whoa, Monty though. So we're putting on a Vanny mask. I don't know why. Hold up, is that Bonnie at the end? Whoa, FNAF fans been eating good this week. Not only did we get the FNAF movie trailer just a couple of days ago, but now? We've got another plate to feast on. We've got the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruined DLC gameplay trailer. But yeah, before we react to this, I just want to say that I did not like FNAF Security Breach. One of, in my opinion, the worst FNAF games. Probably the worst FNAF game. If I, if I had to put in the tier list of the main FNAF games, yeah, it would likely be sitting there. If you like the game, that's completely fine, not bashing people for liking it or not liking it as I do, but it did not gel with me, it wasn't very FNAF, there was this big open space with not much going on, the animatronics were very goofy, were not threatening, Vanny was hardly in the game, she was really hyped up, dang, it stung. It did sting, it looked so good too, but it just didn't work out for me, but I'm going to be very optimistic with this DLC. The thumbnail already, maybe they're going in a more scary direction, more of a horrifying direction. Maybe it's going to be darker, maybe it's going to be grittier, something that I was kind of hoping with FNAF Security Breach. So we're going to shut up and yeah, finally react to this thing. This isn't going to be a breakdown analysis thing, 40 minute video with a one minute trailer, but after we watch it, I will just go back on a couple of the scenes that may look good here. So yeah, buckle up, get your popcorn, let's have a good time. All right, still wolf. Hey, Cassie, who's that kid? I hope you get this message. Cassie? I'm trapped here at the pizza plex. Dang, what how did Gregory get trapped though? What ending is this based on? I don't have time to go into how I got here. Oh, everything's absolutely destroyed now. Oh, a lot Save more me, interesting Cassie, looking. Please, it's so dark down here. Hey, oh, the animatronics. Okay, they're looking kind of freakier though. Oh, and those guys, that was like the best part of the game actually. Oh, the camera's still looking weird, but... Gregory, run! It's okay. That guy kind of looking like Frieza. Oh! Whoa! Monty though! Was that, a game, was that a game over? That looked like that was possibly you getting cool. How did the animatronics end up looking like this? Hold up, is that Bonnie at the end? Are we gonna see Glamour Bonnie? Don't give up on me yet. Don't give up on me yet. So we gotta find Gregory. July, whoa, that's only in a couple of months. This is crazy. What a year for FNAF. What a year for FNAF. Like, holy heck. So yeah, like I said, gonna go through this one more time and just pause on the scenes that were somewhat interesting here that kind of stuck out. So, buckle up! So we have this beginning part here. It looks like, I'm guessing that's Cassie is coming into the pizza plex from the outside. The first time we actually see a part of the outside. And A, we got one of those, you kind of like put them in water and they just like, those birds that dip into the water. That's what it looks like. I don't know why that's there. Here at the pizza plex or what's but yeah, as we uh, hear from the trailer, Gregory's trapped. It looks a lot grittier. It looks a lot darker. The animatronics do look kind of scarier when they're going to be chasing you down with their withered state. Yeah, that's going to be a, a slightly more terrifying experience than when they were all cartoony and goofy looking. So there's that at least. And the bit with Monty that comes up, that is probably most likely when he catches you and ends with a jump scare slash game over. So that's going to be cool. Oh, I got here. And then we see all the areas. They're all just stuffed up now. I don't know how this happened. Who did it? Again, what ending this is based off from the original Security Breach because there's like loads of different endings. I don't even know which one is supposed to be canon at this point, especially because of this DLC coming in. Like, how does it tie in? I don't know. But you've got to help me. And then we've got kind of like the underground here where the employees go through. It looks like we're going to have different routes to uh, go from place to place here, possibly more than the original game. And then one of the daycare areas. It's so dark down here. Dang, like that cupcake thing. I don't think we saw that before, but we got Cassie here. Yep, hiding from the animatronics. This is possibly a cutscene here, but could be maybe uh, the animation of the stealth gameplay, but probably a cutscene when we first see uh, Roxanne Wolf here. But look at her. That's a lot better, man. Way less goof. 
way less goof. And it doesn't mean that they have to be withered to be more scary. The original FNAF 1 characters and even the toy animatronics were scary, especially the toys. They were the, they were the most cartoony looking things, but Scott still made them scary. They weren't withered, they, they weren't scarred up, there wasn't wires coming out of them, and they, they still... They still made me jump, man. They still made me jump and many other people. So it's completely possible. But with these animatronics, they just didn't do it right. But here, these designs are probably going to help out a lot. A lot. Just saying. It does help. It does help. Got this new remote here. Probably a new gameplay device of sorts. Another Fazbear, Glamrock Freddy sort of thing here. I don't know what that lasts for. And then these guys, they're from the original game. But look at Chica, man. Every time Chica gets withered and destroyed, she always ends up looking the most insane, like the most creepy. And maybe that'll be a thing here. I don't think we get a full front shot of her, so I can't completely tell. But she's going into some kind of something there. The family glam rock, maybe some kind of diner. Chica's always going into the food places. Oh, and then we had an icon at the beginning showing that the uh, Cassie's crouching or something. Oh, you use this to interact with maybe like these... Kind of arcadey sort of monitor thingies here. Oh, it's had to activate the camera though. And maybe that's a way of activating the camera, so we don't get the faz the faz watch like we did in, in Security Breach. We get some kind of uh, other means of interacting with the camera. Maybe I don't entirely know. Oh, it does other things. Okay. Actually, maybe we do get the faz watch still, but just the way it cut made it look like that was the use of it. But now I look back. Maybe the use of the, uh, the tasery looking thing is to literally just, uh, turn on electronics and whatnot. Maybe. Okay, so we have a walkie-talkie, though. That's interesting. So we can talk to Gregory and stuff? Maybe we got to guide him around so he doesn't get caught or something? What was that, though? Oh, that's Monty. Look how insane he looks. That's freaky. That is actually freaky. Yeah, and then that's that's definitely being caught to a game over. I hope this isn't another instance of child overpowers uh, possessed robot because I didn't like that in the original Security Breach, how Gregory was just easily able to destroy them. Again, it added to the fact that they're just goofy, they're just cartoony, and they're just not a threat. If a little child can just go along and do that, you know? Why would that make you scared of these animatronics? They're supposed to be near impossible. They're supposed to be a brick wall that you can't get past. Uh, you like, cl can't climb over. You're supposed to like go around and find another way of getting past, you know? So, yeah, here's hoping this is legitimately something that leads to a game over and Cassie's not just able to rip Monty's draw open because somehow she's got super strength. Yeah, it did definitely look like a game over because it went to the static screen. See that? And then Glamrock Chica, though. Oh. So there's loads of instances of us getting close to these animatronics here. And it looked like we put on some kind of mask at the end. Was that a van mask? It kind of looked like a vanny mask. But I'm not entirely sure. I think it might have been. It looked very much vanny shaped. Yeah. So we're putting on a vanny mask. I don't know why. So we're seeing what Vanny possibly sees. Let's see the big red eyes there. That is something. I don't know why. And then we get this weird vision where we're able to see stuff differently here. Maybe see stuff that we couldn't see before. And then like possibly Glamrock Bonnie or just Glitz Trap or something. It could be Glamrock Bonnie. He was teased a lot in the original game. But then it could be Glitz Trap. Oh, but then he does have the shoulder pad, too. You can see it there. It's very possible. Very possible. All right, that's pretty much it, though. Don't. Well, I know that was only the trailer, but based on what they showed us there, that actually looks pretty promising. It seemed way more terrifying as I went on about. Way grittier. The animatronics look great. They actually seem more like a threat and not just the little fence you can jump over. It seems really good. It seems a lot more claustrophobic as well, although we probably will get that kind of open uh, sense of the original game, that open space. But based on, again, on the trailer, it looked like paths were blocked off. We got to find other ways of getting around through the pizza plex and saving Gregory and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm very excited for this again. 
The optimism, it's only got higher after watching this. I'm very much looking forward to it. But again, only time will tell. What did you lot think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. But if you enjoyed this video and want to see more on FNAF and whatever the heck else we do around here, you know what to do.